up guys this is xp gaming here back with another call of duty world war 2 video and today we're going to be talking about things of call of duty and what we should see in it in the future and stuff like that which we already know that it's 2018 happy new year's this is my first video of the year because i haven't been able to get to upload a lot lately and i'm sorry for that but this is my first video of the Team year so match. happy new year's um i didn't get to tell you guys that on january 1st so wait what um what are you doing you know, it's January 5th. Well, it's January 5th. How many years, guys? Anyway, it's already 2018. We know that Treyarch Stay is on the world, like, on the roll with their new Call of Duty. It could either be Black Ops 4, Call of Duty World at War, Call of Duty World at War Remastered, or Call of Duty World at War 2, or Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Remastered, Call of Duty Black Ops Remastered. There's, like, so many things that are being rumored about Call of Duty now that it's untelling, like, what Treyarch could do because, um... You know, Black Ops 3 was rumored after the release of Advanced Warfare. It was already rumored for Black Ops 3, which was obvious that that could have been the next game. Because, you know, you know how Modern Warfare, after Modern Warfare 2, there was rumors going around about Modern Warfare 3, which they got to complete the trilogy of the Call, like, the COD franchise, you know, part of the trilogy. And, like... Black Ops, this trilogy for Black Ops is just too successful to give up now. Cherok's, like, that's what gets them their money most is the Black Ops, like, trilogy. Because Black Ops was awesome when it first came out. The original Black Ops, everyone knows because everyone played it and it was awesome. And they wanted more of Black Ops. And I did not see the dude camping here. But uh, he still got turned on. Anyway, um, and then Black Ops 2 came out and everyone was happy. But it was a little bit into the future. But there wasn't no exosuits at the time. So, you know, we kind of got lucky with that. We didn't even expect exos like suits to come to Call of Duty until we saw Advanced Warfare. But after Black Ops 2 came Call of Duty Ghosts, in which it pretty much went back into modern time with Call of Duty Ghosts. And then after Call of Duty Ghosts was Advanced Warfare and... When we saw the word advanced in the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, we didn't really expect to see, you know, boosting like 50 feet up in the air and stuff like that, which was kind of, it was cool when you first played it, but after a while, everyone started camping because they th not, knew that it was easy to maneuver around you if they, like, if you seen them. So that was pretty much an upper hand for campers, and I hate campers, so... I'm glad that we're back to this now, because if we wasn't back to this, I would probably quit COD and go back to Battlefield. Well, not like go back to Battlefield, but before I played COD, I did play some Battlefield. I played Battlefield 2. I think it was Bad Company. Battlefield. I'm not sure which one was Bad Company, but I knew it was Battlefield, and it was Bad Company something. And, um, yeah, I used to play Battlefield a lot, and then when I saw the release of Modern Warfare, you know, the original Modern Warfare, I was just like, huh, is this like modern military stuff? And like my brother used to play, you know, video games. And he said, yeah. So I played it. And I was a Call of Duty lover ever since. And I got into sniping around Black Ops 2. And haven't really quit sniping. Even though I'm not like the best at it. I'm no freaking Optic Pomage or anybody in a Face Clan or a Red Clan. I don't know. But I'm not that good. But I'm good to a certain extent when I want to be. But other times when I want to be one people, I'll just play the game just to be playing it. Like I won't just sit there and sweat, you know, my balls off. Because I'm not like that. I don't sweat over a 1v1. Like, it's just 1v1. Yeah, I do rage and I rage quit only because I'm a competitive player and I hate losing. So that's probably one reason that I rage quit a lot is because I'm a competitive player. And competitive players always want to take the W instead of the L. And yeah, they just, they get mad over it. And that's, that's me. That's literally me. I hate taking the, like, the L. Only because I know that I'm capable of taking the W. So, yeah. But anyway. Um, after Advanced Warfare was Black Ops 3, what was rumored after Advanced Warfare. And we was all happy about it we thought you know maybe there's not going to be any more of this or that you know the exosuits and crap we thought that they were going to go back to the ways that we had it as you know to the call of duty one the call of duty two call of duty three type of days and back in world war two but black ops is really never based off of the call of duty or a world war two based time it was based off of vietnam time and a future time and then another future you know time at the first one, it was in the past. It was in Vietnam. The second one was a little bit into the future in 2025, which is just my guess, only because Nuketown 2025 was in the game. And then 
I saw on Black Ops 3's campaign where it said 2069. It said that in um, Black Ops, no, not Black Ops, but Advanced Warfare also when you get like the intel for um, Jonathan Irons when you collect it through the campaign it says it said 2069 so yeah that's the reason I'm just taking a quick guess on you know why that like it was in the future after the Vietnam Black Ops which we actually wanted to see another Vietnam kind of based Call of Duty only because back when Black Ops was first released the guns on it was magnificent and it was overpowered and we just really wanted to see more of that, but we didn't really want to see more of Infinite Warfare or Advanced Warfare or Black Ops 3. Even though Black Ops 3 was the best out of all the Exosuit and Thrust Jump Call of Duties that we've ever had, it doesn't really make it any better only because it still had the Thrust Jumps and Exosuits. So that kind of made it just a little bit worse on Black Ops's, like, on the Black Ops half of the COD community only because we thought the Black Ops was actually going to stay fresh for the rest of the you know, COD franchise, but it did stay fresh through Black Ops 3, even though that Treyarch does try to keep it that way, only because they know that they're, like, close to the best Call of Duty creators in, out of Sledgehammer Games and Infinity Ward, and I know that I say Treyarch's the best and stuff like that, but really, in my honest opinion, it's not really in my honest opinion, but it's a fact that Infinity Ward is the best Call of Duty creators, only because they did create the first Call of Duty, and they created the Modern Warfare trilogy, so you can't really put too much hate on them because they thought that that's what we wanted was another exosuit Thrust Jump Call of Duty which was the whole you know theme of Call of Duty then so you know they were thinking okay maybe they want this maybe they want that but no we really didn't want that and we put so much hate on that Call of Duty that it kind of put them into a dark hole pretty much and now they're creating something for 2019 that's probably going to be lit and who knows if it's going to be better than Cherix's 2018 Call of Duty but um, we'll just have to wait two more years to figure that out but after Infinity Ward is going to be Sledgehammer Games, and we're hoping that Sledgehammer Games doesn't ruin it for us again with their, you know, exosuits and stuff like that. When Advanced Warfare was first released, they were celebrating and stuff like that only because it was their first Call of Duty. Well, Modern Warfare 3 was supposedly their first Call of Duty only because they helped Infinity Ward with it. And then after that, a few years later, Advanced Warfare got released from them, their own personal Call of Duty, which Infinity Ward help them with and I know Treyarch helps Infinity Ward and so does Sledgehammer Games with their Call of Duties because I've seen it in the Infinite Warfare's campaign after I finished it the credits I saw that you know like people from Treyarch that helped them blah 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 on Sledgehammer Games but on Sledgehammer Games Treyarch doesn't help them only because Treyarch knows that they have a competition this year but anyway guys that's it for this video if you guys like this video and if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure to like comment and subscribe and comment down below what your favorite Call of Duty is out of the, all the Call of Duties that have been released in this franchise. My favorite personally is Modern Warfare 2, only because Infinity Ward did a great job on that game. And I love the intervention and the trick shotting movements and stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean? You should know what I mean if you're a diehard Modern Warfare 2 fan. But anyway guys, that's it for the video. If you guys like this video, like and subscribe. Talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.